this time around, we're going to be creating the uh, breast physics for our model. You can do this several different ways. I'm going to be creating a uh, cloth simulation for it. And for that, you can do a, um, a proximish. You can create either a... Yep, let me go to this and turn on screen keys. So you can graph a cube or whatever and pretty much shape this guy into roughly around the shape of your breast if you want. I'm, however, going to be using the mesh of the press itself since they're already confirmed. I'm just going to do a couple edits to it. So let's grab our mesh. Let's go here. And if you have face selected, you can grab your uh, faces via the uh, loop cuts that you've done. All right, so I want those, and I'm gonna be merging these little sections. I don't need, do not need the extra typology. I do, however, want to grab the center part here. So I'm just gonna go Control Plus twice. We just grab those, and then it's gonna unselect those. Okay, and Shift P. When shift D, you create a copy of that one, create P, and you separate it by selection. Let's get out of edit. Let's click on our clear mesh. Let's toggle our original maze off. And we can also toggle off our armature. Here, let's go to selection, grab this, we don't need those, and just delete those faces. And see, grab those, delete those faces, press L, delete those faces. And pretty much, let's go select those. Select those and let's hide it. And from here, let's go control plus 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 until we get to the bottom. Hide those, select everything that's left over, and delete faces. Okay, so from here, let's go Alt H, let's bring everything back. So we have this general shape. Let's close this loop. So let's grab our edges. Select the hunter loop. And merge at center. Do the same thing to the opposite side. And merge at center. In here, now we have a, our basic uh, mesh. I'm going to be using the sculpt and reducing the uh, vertices here. Too far away, select period, zoom in, and screencast here is going to work. And those things again. All right, so they're here. Let me turn on our wireframe. And here we have a wireframe. Let's make sure you have your X mirror. So you what do we do one side, the other side. And I'm just gonna smooth this little section out. And if nothing happens when you're trying to do some kind of sculpting, that means you have a um, shape key selected. So we need to select the normal one. And for this one, I don't really need any shape here, so I'm just going to get rid of them all. Select that one and 
boom this is going to be a sort of proxy mesh and pretty much there we go so right now they're semi even now let's grab r elastic deform let's grab this guy and now let's toggle on our press and they're pretty much in the right spot grab this put it there grab And kind of just general shape. This is going to be your hitbox for your breast. So whatever is hits this one, it's gonna be making your breast move around. Once we have that, we wanna grab the nipple section. It's going to be our anchor point for our bones that we're gonna be creating. So go to vertex select and let's create a selection that way let's go to our selection here and you really don't need any of these um vertex groups you can leave them as is but i'm going to delete them and i do the parenting just to keep these guys organized like for myself Okay, so we have no more selection here. Grab this, select, and let's go. This one, tip left, and make sure you have someone selected. Let's grab this one and control plus, and let's make another selection. Let's call this one tip right. And make sure you're assigned. So let's verify it. Tip right, this only selects that one. Tip left, only selects that one. So with this, we have those two, which are gonna be our control points. Now let's uh, have our anchor point for our, our mesh. Let's go select our line. And let's select the whole entire loop around our exterior of our breast down here. Here, and we will see in a couple here. So, with this, we have the whole entire loop. Let's press G, and you can see you grabbed it all. Okay, here we're gonna have another selection this one's going to be pin assign it 100 percent unselect it select it again make sure you did need the full assignment now we're going to select all of our mesh and let's call this one pin all Assign. Okay, so let's verify that one's that one, and that one's that one. Pin is still on the back, and then we have a tip. We got the full selection. Okay. So let's select our pin and just to have more uh, rigidity I like to extrude this one a little bit and press Y so it is locked into place and just give it up an inch or so. So here now you have this as your uh, mesh. Let's jump out let's go to layout here let's add our modifiers now we don't need a subdivision we need bevel that can stay as is first uh, we're gonna be adding a mix vertex we're gonna be pin and pin off 
Yeah, I have replaced all. And let's put the influence right now to zero. Now let me show you what this is going to be doing. Let me go to our weight and make sure you have your pin selected. You can see which ones you are. You just have your pin selected. Go to your modifier. And in the influence, you can see we can move our the weight value pretty much on the fly. So this you can keyframe. It's gonna be a whole lot easier. You should have this toggle, so you can keyframe it as you do your motions rather than trying to do it inside the um, uh, physics uh, tab. So with this, let's go out. Now let's add our physics. Let's add our cloth simulation. I prefer to use linear for my purposes. Let's go the way down to our shape and our pin. We're gonna have put our pin location. Our mix vertex, you can control it by using this uh, keyframe as well over as you go make it stiffer lower it's going to be between and pretty much the same thing as this one but i prefer having this one as it's a whole lot easier less clutter than going all the way down here all the time all right so now let's press spacebar and we see our <laughs> like just deflates right so here let's in start increasing it until you get something reasonable. Okay, so now they're no longer just like sagging balloons, but you have some rigidity up to that point. So from two to three gives you a pretty decent. Um, value for something like a, a jelly or close to this all right so here we have the um, there's our little bouncing effects so this one's almost set let's now attach this to our model let's turn on our rig select our model our mesh shift select or it's not working okay shift select our bones and right now i have the controlling bones let's rig it to the one for our breast okay so shift Go here, so we have that one. Control P and to bone. Okay, and let's move all the way to the back. As you can see, now it's following. And now we can have the little physics with it. And let's reset that location. G, R, S. So those three gives us those resets. Now we're going to go to our. Uh, bones only and we're gonna steer two new bones and that's gonna be our controlling areas for our breast so tap grab on the tips and let's extrude let's go y so this one's gonna be parent to that one let's grab this one and i'm going to make sure it's on 
connected do the same thing to the other one so now they're not connected to this ones I'm also going to move it uh pretty much right around there No, I'm still on the volume, so I'm gonna toggle that off. Ah, so roughly around there. So this is now gonna be uh, positioned in the right spot. Since we're already in, uh, no, we're not. Let's go to post mode. And let's add the relationships that we need. So over here, we're gonna go to our bone constraints properties. Make sure you put it here and not up here. The optic constraints. We're gonna have a copy location. We're gonna grab our mesh. We can also select it by a drop down and select which vertex you want him to be attached to so this one's the right one so now since we have that as our vertex this guy snap run into it let's do the same thing to this one let's copy location you can grab it from there i prefer to use the uh, drop ones and I'm gonna select that one. So now I can press spacebar and see the animation. The bones are not following this guy. So this is pretty much how you go about pretty much attaching anything to a uh, bone to something else. You can do it for this or any other stuff. Now we have one final step is making some weight pins so this bones will actually have some control over our mesh because right now let me toggle our mesh off they're not doing squat right so let's go back put it back into place Let's grab this and put this guy here. And let's go to weight paint. And let's grab a paint. Let's do a full paint and then we'll lower it down. Okay, so we were we're painting something else entirely. Select that one. And hopefully you will get a nice mirror. If not, then you still need to do it manually. So pretty much do like a red roughly around all of it let's select the other one see how well it did well it kind of like try but it fell so let's do it to this one as well not entirely sure but in previous versions of blender uh the mirror well, this part was good so I'm gonna grab a little bit of that don't want don't want to you okay so here we have this selected what I'm going to do now is gonna pull ah okay can pull it because I already attached it so let me uh go to post let me turn those attachments off let me put the influence off or both off okay here 
grab this, grab this, and plate paint. Shift select, and now we can pull it. So pretty much just pull it somewhere around here. Do the same thing to this one. We'll add it, and with a blur brush, we're gonna make this uh, smooth as you can. So just bring your brush up. So you don't want like a nice solid piece, but you want a nice little uh, gradient. As if we have grab the some gravity with it. Okay, so now once you pull it, you have this teardrop uh, shape. And obviously you want to have more control over the bottom than the top, so yes, blend more towards the top. And try and not uh, get too much away from the uh, uh, tip area, or else it will deform pretty badly, and it's not ideal. So here, also just grab a little bit of here, here, here. Let's do the same thing to that one and then kind of try to copy the bell. Do that. And you zoom out, you can make your brush bigger. Okay, so at this point, it kind of like squishes and pulls semi good. Now let's select all, R, G, and S, reset our model. Let's go to object mode, let's go to post mode, toggle those guys back on. And now, and press spacebar. Now they're doing what they're supposed to do. Let's create a little animation. And we are done. Toggle on our uh, bones, bones, bones here. Let's grab those and. This guy. All right. So here, let's go to frame one. Let's toggle this one on. So it's recording. And now we have this little shake. And our mouse needs. Wanky, stop it. It's not working. All right. So there we have a little animation. All right, for that, all the keyframes are set. Let's add and go out of post mode. Select A and yes to test our collisions. So 
make a little ball. Put that one there. Make it fairly small. Let's add collisions to our ball. And there we go. So now, as you can see, let me go to here. it is having some interactions with our object. Turn that off so we can zoom it. And with that, we have set our model with physics. Let me just say this version. And we're going to be doing the same thing for our but physics, and it's going to be for the next video.